You know what just dawned on me? The reason that you find all this toxic sludge around cars is because, of course, many of them run on many nuclear reactors. And as they decayed, they were, you know, we throw a car under the water, you know, diesel and fuel and all can leak. And that, of course, can be a bit of an environmental problem. But in this world, ooh, it's a, it's a whole other ballgame. By the way, this is, of course, all under the water. I've simply just uh, casually drained the ocean. Don't worry, my fallout file's a lot worse than any of the bombs dropping. We are northeast of the Warwick homestead, clank in the chat if you get the reference, and south west of Spectacle Island, where you can just find this absolute wasteland of toxic sludge. The reason I wanted to pick this up, it actually wasn't on the map, but I just wanted to kind of show you that uh, dumping was very prevalent, if you haven't seen many of my other videos, and uh, you can just see all the, the radiators, and uh, obviously they had to the cool like a reactor in a car. Uh, and plenty of barrels as well. So again, nuclear waste as well as the cars were just kind of just dropped to the seabed. So the environmental issues that were coming down the pipeline for the Fallout universe, even before the bombs fell, was already pretty grim. I mean, one that I could certainly point out now would be the likes of the mass fusion disposal site were again horrible, horrible dumping in the nearby Lake Cockatoo and up north. Uh, we could go over to the Lake Quanapot, uh, where again mass fusion were, uh, which they had, they had a wee disposal, they had a con containment shed. It was just all about dumping, anything to get around environmental regulations. Uh, was was just basically it was all about the Benjamins, as they say, and uh, I'm sure there were companies that were developed in the Fallout universe to s just dump things, you know, secretly, obviously behind you know closed doors with big corporations. Uh, it makes you it makes you wonder, you know, if we find a load of cars at the bottom of our lake, ah, it's not great for wildlife, and you know, again, all the lakes bump these cars. Oh, we're talking we're talking different gravy here. Uh, but obviously it was in the ocean, so it would have probably been, you know, diluted quite a bit. Uh, but there's still a lot of dumping. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little documentary on uh, nuclear-powered cars and uh, their environmental damage. Yep, I'll be writing that up as uh, part of the my dissertation, of course. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next unmarked location, which is just up this ridge. And trust me, it was easier to get to this when there was water as opposed to when there wasn't. Let's go find this. There it is.